Hi there, my name is Jason Harlow, and this is a welcome video for any student in the physics of music, PHY 207. So welcome to the course. I'm uh, recording this using Zoom. Um, you can see behind me the uh, <laughs> Sydney Opera House inside. We'll be talking a little bit about that in the course when we get into our section, uh, chapter on acoustics. Um, but yeah, today is, I guess it's December 31st. I'm at home sort of, you know, with my family and uh, enjoying my break, but thinking about the semester and getting really excited. Um, and I've started putting some things on the course website. So why don't I share the screen and just show you some of the things that are there already. So these are things you should be able to see if you go onto your courses and click on PHY 207 for winter 2021. So there's a syllabus. Um, this, these are the rules of the course. So you can kind of see a picture of me there, how to reach me, um, a link to the website. Uh, PHY 207 is an online course intended to provide non-science students with an understanding of basic concepts of sound and music with an emphasis on human perception. There's an exclusion to PHY 131, 132, 151, 152. So if you've taken any of those courses before, you cannot also take this course for credit um, because you're basically you're, you're overqualified. I'm going to start by introducing a lot of physics concepts that are already in those other physics courses. Uh, lecture videos are asynchronous and can be viewed at students' convenience on YouTube. Uh, tutorials are going to be weekly, and those will be synchronous at a particular time. Um, and there's going to be, you can be in groups of 25, there'll be a TA there leading you through some materials, taking questions, there'll be breakout rooms, and some group quizzes and stuff, so those will be fun. Um, there's also going to be some synchronous um, quizzes on Friday afternoons, we'll get more about that. There's a textbook, which I'm going to be delivering to you for free, and um, PDFs, one chapter per week. Um, and I've written the book with, along with my co-author, Mark Kazakiewicz. Okay, the marking scheme is shown here. It's sort of um, the quizzes. Uh, there's a final written project, which you'll get more details about later, but basically a couple of pages. You'll be writing about um, some aspect of the course and maybe coming up with your own musical instrument, give you a little bit of a uh, chance to do something a bit creative. There are problem sets every other week. There's these team up quizzes that are you're going to be doing with your little groups and breakout rooms and the tutorials. Uh, there's chapter quizzes, which are pretty uh, simple. They're just uh, checking you did the reading before you do a tutorial. And there's tutorial participation. These are all the details about the uh, things, the written project, um, the problem sets, and uh, that's about it. Okay. What else is there? So take a look through that. There's a course schedule. I'll take a look at that. So the course really starts on January the 11th. It's when uh, that's the first day of classes for U of T because uh, there's been an extra week inserted in the break due to, due to COVID. So um, you'll see a whole bunch of chapters, uh, sorry, a whole bunch of videos that'll be released all at once at 9 a.m. on January the 11th. And normally by Thursday, there's a there's a little quiz to just see if you've re read that, but there's none on the first week because there's no tutorials in the first week. So I'll just be meeting your TAs and training them up. But there will be a little get to know you survey, um, which I'd like you to do by the end of that week, by the Friday. Um, and then your TAs will, will have access to that. And when you meet your TA on January 21st or 22nd, um, he or she can go over what, what they figured out about you from the surveys. So this lets you know each chapter, the name of it, you can see kind of the topics we're going to be studying uh, throughout the semester. There's 12 chapters, 12 modules. Um, every other week, so every week we do either a problem set or a, a, one of the, a synchronous quiz. The first synchronous quiz, if these are about half hour long, is on um, January the 29th. And there's going to be five of those, plus a, a sixth one on chapter 12 done in the final assessment period, which is April 13th to 23rd. There's the deadlines for the final written project. Okay, what else is on here? Um, there's a, well, I, I don't have your TAs yet, but the tutorial instructors will be announced and trying to figure out who they, they are. I would like to cancel 
um, the Friday um, late um, sections. Um, I've sent in this request for this. So I don't know, I think there are about eight of you who are signed up for these 9911, 9912, 9913, and 9914. Uh, so I'd like you to select from one of the other tutorial sections. Um, so hopefully that works out. There's a lot fewer students than I'd expected this year. Um, what is this? Oh yeah, this is a survey I have for you uh, in which I ask you the question, which of the following times would you not be available for a quiz every other week? So Friday at two, Friday at three, Friday at four. If you have other classes or other commitments you know about, um, just check these boxes. I think you can check as many as you want um, or as few as you want. Um, you can click on, I have no conflicts and then just click submit the quiz. Um, that'll help me plan when to do these, these synchronous quizzes. Let's leave that because I don't have any conflicts. And what's the other one? Oh, throat, by <laughs> throat vibrations photo. So this is a request that I have for you. The very first photo in this textbook that I'm writing is a picture of me holding my um, fingers to my throat. And so I'm thinking, you know, <laughs> when it's the first photo of the book and it's like some, you know, 48 year old guy, white guy, basically, it's not the most sort of welcoming kind of nice photo um, and it doesn't really set a good tone. So I don't really like the photo. So what I'm asking is, would you like to be in the book? And so would you like to take a picture of yourself holding your fingers to your throat? And I'm, I don't know, Mark and I'll take a look at uh, photos that come in and choose kind of a, a nice one. Uh, maybe with not much in the background going on, maybe just a better photo than this would be appreciated. Totally optional. You don't get any bonus points for doing this. Whoops. Uh, just just an idea. There's also something called announcements. You'll see the announcement I posted today with this video. Um, Piazza. Piazza is a discussion board. So I don't know if um, uh, you've used Piazza before in any, in any other courses, but it's pretty popular. Um, it's a place where you can post questions. You can go and see what other students have posted. You can answer their questions um, if you want, if you happen to know the answer. Um, the TAs and I will be going on there, you know, sometimes and looking and maybe clicking on good answer or, or um, it's a way for us to, to answer questions in a more sort of public way. So it's a, it's a good thing. Um, and that's pretty much all you need to know for now. And then it's just sit back and wait. And the first module, chapter one, will be released 9 a.m. on January 11th. And you'll see a whole lot of much better, you know, videos of me going through uh, the material. So I hope you enjoy. Um, you can send an email to me at, uh, you know, you can see in the course syllabus how to contact me. If you have any questions, um, where is it? Jason.harlow at utoronto.ca. That's a good way to reach me over the break. Um, otherwise, uh, sit tight. Have a great break. I hope you get a little relaxation in and I'll see you in January.